Well, welcome back. It is Hamburger Month, and mm -hmm. Erica's very excited about it. <laughs> as many people get ready to fire up the grill over this Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. burgers, of course, typically on the menu. They are, and thankfully, we've got a Lexington business owner joining us today to talk all things burgers, as well as seasonings, and supporting your local farmer's market. I want to welcome in Tony Spurlock, the owner of Spurlock Seasonings. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. All right, before we get to this delicious spread, um, tell us about your backstory and just how you got into the business. Well, years ago, I worked at steakhouses, yeah. and I just got that uh, love to cook. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't not find the right seasoning, so I just started making my own years ago. And then eventually, finally, we got to the point where let's just try to sell this and see what happens. How's it been going? Great. Good. It has. Uh, we, I've got into the Lexington Farmer's Market. Yeah. Which I'm doing that now four days a week. Oh, wow. Yeah, Saturdays downtown, mm -hmm. Sundays on Southland, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays we're on uh, Maxwell and South Broadway. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Busy. Busy. Yeah, busy. Yeah. All right, uh, we've got uh, a slew of burgers here. What do we got? Right. Well, our beer cheeseburger, this is our mild, this and then is this is our hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and that's what most people seem to like, the beer it's cheeseburger. Good. And it, everybody seems to go with the plain burger, which is, that's the way I like <laughs> it. That's the, yeah. This is perfect for yeah. me. Yeah. 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 And of course, our market burger is a tomato, pickles, and onions. And then that's our Southwest burger, which has uh, grilled onions and our barbecue sauce on it. Oh, it smells so it's good. It's funny, the, the beer cheese theme has been, has been We're keeping circling it going. the wagon here yeah. after uh, earlier. Your but, epiphany. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so where do you get your beef? We get our beef from Blue Moon Farm, okay. which is a regular vendor at the farmer's market. And sometimes we never know, depending on the weather, depending on the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I was all geared for this Sunday, and then right. five minutes ago I decided maybe it might be changing my mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mother Nature throwing the old curveball in there. Right. Always. So. Right. But when Blue Moon Farm, if I if I run out of it, mm -hmm. I go straight to Critchfield's. Okay. That's my go-to place. So yeah. really, any way you look at it, you're still supporting local. When go local. People are getting We're, your burgers. Yeah. Go local. That's fabulous. And there's lots of different farmers at the market that also carry beef besides yeah. Blue Moon Farm. That's right. So, yeah, I was just going to say, so for someone who has never done the farmer's market either place, I mean, what, what can they expect? Well, ours, for one thing, you need to know on Saturday, I see people selling out of their truck before they're even set up, six, mm. 630 in the morning. Wow. wow. You show up at 9 o'clock on Sunday, you can't get nothing. That's true. <laughs> 10 o'clock. We can't sell nothing until early 10 o'clock. Yeah. And a lot of times people show up early. So 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock on Sundays. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you digging in? This is the spicy. That's the hot This one. is the regular. So yeah, which I'll, one? I'll probably just do the regular okay. one. Okay. You know me. We'll get you a bite of that. Okay. I want you to sample this. And we this. got the barbecue sauce here if you'd like to try that. Uh, I'll, Plain you know, Jane over here says no. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised, that I'll, although I could probably handle that beyond the tomato. Okay, well, let's see what you think of this. This is the go-to for me. Again, I was talking about the, the spicy beer cheese one. I think it's so good. What say you, now that your mouth is full? <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect to react. What do you think? Good. Yay! Very much. Very good. Okay, so part of this too is the seasonings, and you've got a, a whole line of things and also barbecue right. sauce. Tell us a little bit more about what you got. Well, the blue top one down there, that's mm -hmm. our southern style seasoning, what we call it, and it's good on everything. Mm -hmm. It's a regular seasoning that if you take the red top one, the hot one, it's the hot version yes. of that. I was going to say, yeah. Erica said that this is our go to, it, the uh, yeah. Diablo. Mm -hmm. Now, they're the dust. same flavor. It's just the it's hot just version. Got a little it's too. the hot version. Okay. And then after a while doing this, I found a lot of people can't do salt. Oh, so yes. the uh, yellow top one is our all purpose no salt. Very good. <laughs> I can't say anything. It just <laughs> jumped in your face. I love it. And then the barbecue sauce, too. The barbecue Which sauce guy? was handed down to me by my Aunt Kim. It was my grandfather's recipe. And what we did, we just added our southern style seasoning yeah. where it said salt and pepper. And that's the only changes I made to it. Good. Um, you know, why is it so important for folks to not only learn about your business, but to support local business owners like yourself? Well, I mean, why not? Yeah. yeah. You know, you got so many options here. Right. And if you try local compared to other products, sure. I think you will find out the local is even better. So why not? I'm going for the back side of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because, again, for someone who mm. was never a big beer cheese fan, we talked about this on the air before we came on. Mm -hmm. 
you know, we I've circled the wagons with beer cheese twice in what a week and a half, and that's it's super tasty and for good and, reason, yeah. And the beauty of it is, for some somebody that likes a plain burger, as you right. say, mm. it's it's a nice touch without it being overwhelming. Right. So sometimes you pile it, yeah. so much stuff on there, it's too much. Right. Yeah. That gives it a nice little flavor that, uh, you know, mm. you wouldn't have mm. So good. All right, real quick, if folks are watching and, you know, they've got different locations in the farmer's market to come check you guys out, but you also have a website. We have a web page now. Yes. So now everybody can reach us. There you go. Spurlock yeah. Seasoning. Spurlock Seasoning. Dot yes. com. We're really excited about that. Uh, now, anybody can order, and hopefully in two to three days, it'll be sitting on your front porch. Very good. Yeah. I appreciate you coming in so much, Here, Tony. We're going to load this. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I knew. Back at home. I know. Thanks, Tony. Thank have, you. Have a good holiday weekend. All right, we will be back with headlines after this. Eat up. <laughs>